Many modern 4K TVs are suitable for gaming as manufacturers have been trying to improve their gaming performance to compete with monitors. Looking for the best gaming TV in 2021 doesn't just mean balancing picture quality and price, though these are factors, but also looking at gaming specific features that are compatible with next gen consoles, so you get something that's future proof. In this video, we will take a look at what I think are the best gaming TVs of 2021. And as always, to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these TVs, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, let me know down below in the comments what TV you are currently using to game, or if not yet, which one are you looking forward to buying? Without wasting time, first on the list we have the LG C1, which is best gaming TV for most people. LG has long wowed us with, the, with its OLED TVs, and its new C1 delivers some of the best performance we've seen to date. It has a fantastic contrast, impressively wide and accurate colors, strong audio, and excellent gaming capabilities. In the last couple of years, LG has kept the design of the C-series almost entirely the same. As such as the, as the C1 seems to be identical to the 2021 CX and that of C9 from 2019. LG already had a good-looking TV, so they don't think Think any change was necessary. The reason OLED TVs are better for gaming than their LED backlit counterparts is that they don't have the extra step of processing the backlighting. This single step in the processing chain amounts to a significant reduction in input lag. The time it takes the TV to register your joystick movements. When it comes to gaming, there's no TV brand as friendly as LG. HDMI 2.1 is available across all HDMI inputs, bringing support for auto low latency mode and BRR which is variable refresh rate. In 4K at 120Hz HFR high frame rate, you can plug your PS5 or Xbox Series X into your any HDMI input and get the same performance, with latency me measured at 12.5 milliseconds at 1080p and 12.6 milliseconds at 4K. Expect that to drop further with Game Boost and 120 FPS gaming. There's Dolby Vision HDR support with high frame rate games on Xbox consoles, as well as a HGIG for other HDR supported games. Nvidia G Sync and AMD FreeSync Premium are both VRR technologies that improve image quality and boost responsiveness. And LG is the only brand to officially support both. Breathing right down to C1 one's neck, we have the Samsung Q90T, which is the best runner-up. Q90T is a strong video gaming display with a 9.3 ms lag time for both 4K at 60Hz and 1080p at 60Hz input in game mode. This makes Samsung's TVs almost the most responsive in their class for either 4K or 8K products. The Q90T is a very eye-catching television. It features a handsome appearance with a hefty pedestal uh, stand, thin black borders, and a fairly slim profile of just 1.4 inches. I prefer the look of pedestal designs like this compared to separate left and right feet, but the stand size could make it difficult to place a soundbar in front of it. But still, the Q90T looks like it means business. Simply put, the Q90T offers some of the best uh, picture quality you can find on a 4K TV. It has excellent brightness, impressive contrast, white colors, and very solid black levels. If hard pressed, I still prefer the overall image that some OLED TVs provide, but displays like this prove the QLEDs can hold their own. Samsung also includes in the Q90T models it's Real Game Enhancer Plus, which improves the ability to enhance the picture and sound quality while maintaining low input lag and freezing support for smooth motion imagery. The Samsung QN65Q90T 4K Ultra HD LED LCD TV is a beautiful performer. Samsung has significantly reduced the price for this model from last year while preserving or enhancing most of its attributes from last year, including ultra wide view and screen glare reduction. For those not ready to make the step up to 8K TV, this is a great high performance option. Next on the list, we have the Sony X90J, which is the best mid-range. The Sony X90J is a great 4K TV. It replaces the Sony X900H from 2020 and has largely the same features as its predecessor. It uses a BA panel with an outstanding contrast ratio and it has a full array local dimming feature that further improves the black level. It has a decent reflection handling and gets very bright to fight glare, but its viewing angles are quite narrow, so it's not the best for wide seating areas. It has a good response time, low input lag, and a 120Hz refresh rate, making it a great choice for gaming. 
Sony's industrial design is generally very good and the X90J keeps that going. From that front on, the X90J's design looks as pretty as any other television in Sony's 2021 lineup, with relatively small black bezels and a small and tasteful Sony logo under the screen. For many, the X90J's biggest selling point will be Sony's new cognitive processor XR, which has been implemented uh, across all of its 2021 televisions. According to Sony, it brings cognitive intelligence to its TVs for the first time, allowing it to process images in a way that matches uh, how our brain perceives things. Although it lacks the fancy game extras like dedicated modes and status displays found on 2021 models from uh, LG and Samsung, the X90J is still a very good gaming TV. With both the PS5 and Xbox Series X, the X90J handles 4K at 120fps input on HDMI 3 and 4 without a problem. Nevertheless, the Sony X90J offers nearly everything we'd want from a mid-range 4K LED LCD TV for the money. Next, we have something that won't hurt your bag, the Samsung TU8000, which is the best budget gaming TV. The Samsung TU8000 is a decent TV for a variety of uses. Its high contrast ratio produces deep blacks, so it performs well in dark rooms. It is an entry-level budget TV, which offers the gamers great low input lag and decently fast response time. The design of the TU8000 can best be described as minimalist. The sides and top of the screen have nearly non-existent bezels, just the edges of the glossy black plastic sides of the TV itself. We, while the bottom edge features a thin half-inch brushed black plastic bezel. The picture isn't quite as edge-to-edge -edge as Samsung's higher-end TVs are though. A fraction of an inch of black glass frames the sides on top of the active part of the screen in lieu of bezels. The TV is otherwise distinguished only by a small Samsung logo in the center of the bottom bezel. Two V-shaped black plastic legs click into the bottom of the TV and hold it steady on any flat surface wide enough. You can also mount it on the wall. TU8000 has gamer feature that reduces latency. With game mode enabled, I was able to get a blazing fast 9.7 MS which is exceptional and really as good as it gets so far from Samsung. As always, this number is an average of both 1080p and 4K resolution, so expect to get very close performance no matter the, result, the resolution you will be playing at. I even tried to get a measurement without game mode enabled and this gave me an 87.6 MS input lag which is extremely high compared to the one I got with game mode. So keep this in mind when you try to get the best out of this TV. I should also not forget to mention that there is auto low latency mode support that can be used with both the PS and Xbox and users can greatly benefit from its usage. If you're running short in cash after investing them into your console, no doubt that the TU8000 is a good value TV that offers decent performance for the money. And the best value one we have, the Hisense ULED U8G. As a replacement for the highly popular Hisense H9G from 2020, the new Hisense U8G 4K ULED HDR TV has a lot to live up to. The two TVs look very similar, but it's what's inside that counts. Let's start with the ULED moniker because I think that could be confusing for some folks. To be clear, this is a quantum dot TV, so it could just as easily be called a QLED TV. Hisense just has its own branding thing going on, so this TV is comparable to other LED backlit QLED TVs on the market. The UAG has a nondescript modern design, save for a butterfly shaped pair of legs that supports the center of the TV. Unlike the spindly sticks that just out from the bottom of most modern screens, these thoughtful elegant legs make you want to use them rather than mount the TV on the wall. Overall, the Hisense UAG is an impressive TV. Thanks to its excellent contrast ratio, high peak brightness and great local dimming feature, it's a great choice for watching SDR or HDR movies. Performance-wise, it has outstanding low input lag, excellent response time and great gaming features like variable refresh rate VRR, making it an excellent choice for gaming. To go with the low lag time, the UAG includes the feature that gamers are looking for to take advantage of the latest game consoles. With two HDMI 2.1 ports, the 65 UAG supports 4K at 120Hz automatic low latency mode, variable refresh rate and AMD FreeSync 
all in an effort to deliver the smoothest game experience possible. While racing through the streets in Gran Turismo, the car showed no blurring and details in the foreground, such as the asphalt of the road were very sharp. The UAG's strengths in color and contrast helped make World's Edge in Apex Legend a vivid experience with vivid yellows and excellent details in shadows. All right, guys, we hit the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, take care and peace out.